Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. I just called them because you were beating down my door. Go get my dog, now! On September 14, 2023, in Sarasota, Florida, a Karen girlfriend called the police on her boyfriend because, after all, she's a Karen. That's the only logical explanation. Fortunately, when the police arrived, they were able to quickly decipher what was going on and took decisive action.
It's happening on each other. Hey, over here. Over here. Oh, no, no, no. He's hey. grabbing me. Hey. Or not. Over here. No. Actually. Over here. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me in my own house. I know my rights. This is my house. And honestly, I can ask the two of y'all to leave right now. Here's the deal. If we're investigating something... What are you investigating? A dispute. A dispute. What are you Technically, you're obstructing. I'm not I'm obstructing? You called me. I'm doing this all out of the same way. I didn't do anything. Please. An investigation. Can, can she stay here until this is concluded and we can finalize this? Right right. Right. You already made allegations that she took stroke off, uh, grabbed you by the neck. But I don't want to. I don't want to charge any. I would just want to see the second thing. Please, please, can, can, you can you take, can take pictures of his, his neck, please? Hmm? Wait. Don't let it. Wait. Don't let it. Don't yes. let it. Don't let it. Don't let it. Don't let it. Please, please, please. Nice to meet you. Let's go. No, no, go, go, go. Run inside and lock the door. Run inside and lock the door. Run inside and lock the door. He's not going to jail. Run inside and lock the door. Go answer. Run inside and lock the door. Don't say. Baby, run inside, lock the door. Don't say. We'll be fine. This is obstruction. This is not okay. I don't even have shoes on, my guys. I don't even have shoes on. Okay, because you're trying to get something? Ow, 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 ow. Please, please, can you let up for a second? Can I walk with you and not, like, against you, please? Listen, we're going to come talk to you. Okay, we're going to come talk to you about it. I will sit on the curb. I'm not mm. getting in the car. I will sit right here. I'm not getting in. I will sit right here. So here's the deal. You're going to get in or we're going to force you in. So you get to force me into everything? Absolutely. What did I do? You're going to get a resistance yeah. charge. You haven't, you haven't even told me my Miranda rights, so you're f***ing no, head. We don't have to. Yes, in you do. Yes, in you the do. Car. Get in the car. They didn't tell me my Miranda rights! That's not how it works. Yes, it is. Questions for me also. Thank you. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get her out of here. Domestic violence. Yes. He's not pressing charges, but we still we st if it's if it's domestic listen if it's domestic related we're gonna we're gonna uh, take you to jail regardless. That's no, just you. You want co you want cooperating with us? You didn't tell us anything. No, you did not. I, I have a camera. Officer Jones. I'm not I'm not telling you all that. No. Well, looks like Karen's reign of terror came to an end as she got busted for battery and hauled off to the Sarasota County Jail. Justice served. On the 2nd of February, 2023, a feisty Karen got stopped for sporting an outrageously dark tint on her car. She was handed minor citations, which must have been to her dismay because after being let go, Karen pulled off a classic Karen move that landed her right in the back of the police car, as you're about to witness. Window for me. Again? Roll down your back window for me. Because I said so. Uh, Roll it down. I don't, Roll. Yes, you I do for right. officer safety. Okay, you're about to get kicked out of this car in about two seconds. I'm going at like 
Okay, I told you to roll it down so I can see because the window tar okay. is too dark and I need to make sure there's nobody else back there. Okay, no problem. I need your license, registration, and insurance, what? please. I stopped you, you passed pass the stop bar at every stop sign, two I different stop that. signs. Your window tent is too dark and your tag is expired. So there's three different reasons why I'm pulling you over today. Okay, the stop signs I don't pass them. I stop. You passed pass the stop bar. Never. You did. There's a white line at the stop sign. You pass past the stop bar. I mean, I was behind a car, so how I do it? No, you weren't. You passed past the stop bar on two different stop signs. I didn't do that. Okay. Why you open my door? You cannot do that. Too. What's that? Why you open my door? You cannot do I that. I can. There's no reason. I, I just told you the reason. You weren't because compliant. You weren't compliant. Yes, you weren't compliant, and you were refusing to roll down your back window so that I can approach you I can refuse safely. About that. So that I can approach you safely. Because my safe. I can. Yes. I can refuse about that. No, you cannot. I can. You I cannot. Right. You cannot. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, we will see. And everything is on camera, just so you know, you are being recorded. That's cool. For me. No, license, please. License. License. Yeah, man, for the Ma I said your license first. And insurance. License first. Corporal Hetzler, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Your name? Corporal Hetzler, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. License first. Can I look for the insurance now? Yeah, the registration. No. You don't have the registration? Why not? I don't know. I don't have it here. Okay. Is there any Maybe weapons in the house car? my house and a different wallet. Okay. Do you have any weapons inside the vehicle? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Hang tight. Just a second. Sure. Pull your window right about here. All right. Stop. Window tents at 11% the state of Florida has to be 25 or higher, okay? All right, man. Here's your uh, insurance and your driver's license, okay? Today I went ahead and issued you four different citations, okay? First uh, citation um, is going to be for running the stop sign. You didn't, didn't do You stopped past the stop bar. It's the okay, stop bar. Okay. okay, so you can fight that in court. All the instructions are right here on the back. You have 30 days to pay the fine. That's your first citation. Don't. Next citation is for a failure to provide your registration. Okay. So you say you can open my door just like that. And keep Correct. You were non-compliant. You weren't listening to commands. Your window's too dark for me to see it in the back. And I, for me to safely approach this vehicle, I need to make sure there wasn't anybody else in the back of the vehicle. You There's your just second citation. You can just ask me. I did ask you. You don't ask me if I got more people in my car. It doesn't matter. I need to be able to see it with my own eyes. Next citation is... Uh, your registration's expired, okay? You have 30 days to pay that. Same thing as every the other two citations. And your window tent, 11%. In the state of Florida, like I told you, has to be 25. Turn your vehicle off. Turn your vehicle off. You're Why? driving recklessly. Now it's criminal. Turn it out. I, I drive. I'm gonna break Why? your window. You got you got three seconds, or I'm gonna break your window. Roll down your Sir. window. Sir. Roll down your window now. Sir. Roll down your window now. Get out of the vehicle. Don't touch me. Turn off Don't the touch car. Me. Turn off the car. Don't touch me. Get don't out of the vehicle. That. Don't do that. Get out of the vehicle. You don't have to do this. Turn around. Space is good for me. You got any weapons on you or anything? Any guns? Nice. You cannot search my car. Hey, you cannot search my car. Uh, Alex, I'm going to do an inventory on it. Is she going? Yeah, she's going okay. for reckless driving and resisting without violence. You got a... 4114, you know, stamp me off in some, bro. I'll get from the screen. Guy. Small crack here, sweetie. Can I make a call? Go get your phone. Right here. Space the car for me. Can I make a call? Not right now. Before. When you get to the jail, you can. But I need a right now because my 
I guess you should have thought about that before, you know, you started driving recklessly. But I, it's okay. Just, just make it clear to make sure my kids and, and my brother know that I'm leaving to jail and that's it. That's all I ask. Let me make it clear. Okay, okay. have a seat in the vehicle. Hey, listen. I'm gonna let you call the, the RO of this vehicle and see if they want to come get it. That way, it don't get towed. The owner? Or yeah, the registered owner. Who is that? You have to be the owner. Yeah. It's gotta be. We have to release it to the registered owner. Um, I can call my brother, but the owner is mine. That car is mine. Yeah, but it's in somebody else's name. Yeah, but he's in jail. He's my husband. He's in jail. Yeah. <laughs> But why they search in my car too? I say I don't want it. They search. Well, incident to arrest. Incident to arrest. It can be inventory. Yeah, but they, they arrest. Be, they arrest because it, they they stop me because they and all that. It, it doesn't mean okay. that they can so, search. Well, incident incident to arrest. When we're doing an inventory, we have to inventory because it can get towed. So that's why we're giving you the option to. But, but can I call them? My brother, he can pick it up because the insurance is by his name too. The insurance is my name and my brother's name. I, I can see. I don't. I don't. I, I normally we have to release it to the RO, the registered owner of the vehicle. So if we I'll, can't get in contact with the registered owner of the vehicle, we have to tow it. Okay. But but, they, but you're saying he's I mean, in jail. Yeah, he's in jail, and, and I, I mean the insurance. Where is that at? Right here. He's in St. John's County Jail. Yeah. All right, stand by. It's it's gonna have to be towed. We can't. I mean, we have to give it to the RO. We can't give it to anybody else. Are you a sovereign citizen? Sovereign citizen? It's like uh, you go by different natural law or anything like that? You don't do any of that? Okay. You already slipped it. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Karen really outdid herself this time. Her little stunt turned innocent citations into accusations of resisting an officer without violence and some seriously reckless driving. In Florida, on April 7, 2023, officers were dispatched to an apartment complex where two intoxicated individuals were found sleeping by the pool. The management had called for assistance as they were unable to wake them. Upon the officers' arrival with Orlando Fire, the individuals woke up and left the pool area to return to their apartment. However, a few minutes later, the officers were summoned back to the apartment complex as Karen was causing a disturbance and refusing to leave the leasing office, according to the apartment manager. Here's how everything played out. To check my mail, see if I have any packages. Valeria Pineda, 322. Okay, they don't That's want you in here. So do you understand I live this? here. But you don't live here. You live in an apartment. That's so my suggestion fine. would be for you to go to your apartment, okay? And just not get my mail? No, you have a right to your mail. Your mail will be here. All I'm asking is Angel for a mail. Okay, all I'm asking you to do is leave, so I don't have to and arrest all you. Why would you arrest me for asking for my mail? Be because they don't want you in here. This is private Why? property. It's their property. It's not yours. I'm just asking for mail. I'm asking you to leave. So I'm just asking for so mail. If, if, if you don't leave, I'm going to have to arrest you. You and it's not worth it. Don't me. I'm just asking for my mail. And I'm asking you to leave. I'm just asking for my mail. Do you understand okay. that? As a citizen. What, what would you like, like us to do? You... I, I need her to leave her own. Okay. If, if you can do you literally want to arrest charges? me. Yes. You're going to go to jail if you don't walk out that door right now. I'm just asking for mail. Okay. okay. Do you want to press charges if she doesn't leave? Okay. Do you, you really want to go to jail for this? Do you really want to go to jail for no, this? Of then then not. leave. I, I'm asking. I can't beg so you. So I can't come to my leasing office for mail. Not right now. Not till you sober not up. Not right now. Till you I'm sober up. Out. Till you sober up. I'm just asking. Uh, you're just going to go to jail today. Okay. Just, just leave. Go home. So and sleep. Come tomorrow morning. Yeah. Sure. Different story. Yeah. Well, when you sober up. You're not drunk. I can, 
Oh, leave. Know. Just leave. Can you give me a note of that? No. Why not? Gosh, Lee, I, I just don't know how to put it any plainer. You're going to go to I jail. Just, no. Have you been arrested before? No. Or you're I, fixing to be. You're drunk. You just leave and go, go home and sleep. I don't know if that's what you're doing, guys. They don't want you here. That's perfectly fine. But well, then leave. Then leave. Of that. That's seven times I've asked, right? There will not be an eighth. Why not? Because I'm going to put you in jail. Do you understand what we're saying? They don't want you here because you're drunk. You need to leave. That's perfectly okay. fine. Th th here's the door. Go. Because you're, you're drunk. Because you're drunk. That's the reason. That's the reason. Okay, can I get a written version no, of no, that? No. Why not? not because this, this is not school. I don't give you a written version. Excuse me. I'm a perfectly good citizen. Okay. Nobody no, said you were a bad citizen. I don't cause any trouble. You're causing trouble now. now. No. Because you won't leave. I, I'm going to have to arrest you. And I don't want to. And I don't want you to gosh, either. Gosh, just. Can I just give a perfectly written, written no, excuse? No, no. Yeah, written excuses. No. You're drunk. Okay, You're drunk. Unfortunately, I can't leave without any I ain't time. got time for this. That's fine. You guys want to press charges? You want to press charges? I, I, okay, these are your options. I, obviously, she doesn't want to listen. So do you, do you want to press charges? Huh? You, I, I'm going to need you to go to court. I'm going to need you to write a statement that you've asked this lady to leave five, six times like I have, and she'll go to jail. Okay. 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 Right, we're going to jail. Yeah. We're going to jail. That's fine. Okay. That's all you're going to say. That's not right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Stand right here. Have a seat. No, Have a seat. That's fine. Help me on my f***ing All right. She's going to jail. You can bond her out for a couple hours. I just don't want, uh, like, I'm scared, like, you guys let her go. She's going to come back down here and cause a ruckus after you leave, too. Mm, we, yeah. So she wouldn't leave when we were here and put her in handcuffs. I don't know what she's going to do when we unhandcuff her and... Right. No. Uh, no. She's going to jail. Okay? No, I don't. Yeah. yeah. No, no, sorry. I don't necessarily. Move. Move. No, 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 no. Move. No, no, no. Stay in here. No! What are you Quit, raising me for? You're fixing to go to what jail for that reason. What are you For what? Because I asked you to leave and the management asked you to leave. I can leave to my apartment. I live here, man. But you don't live in the office where we I asked you to leave. I live in the apartment. Put your feet back in here. I just want my mail. That's Put your feet all back I in want. Here. I have your, a package coming from Amazon that hasn't been here. delivered yet. And you're fucking arresting me for it. No, you got yourself arrested. No, Put your feet in no, now. No. Put your feet in now. I'll never no, she's going to jail. Sorry, I don't speak English so good, but sorry for that. That's okay. It's drunk. I yeah, can't. I know she's drunk. But I asked her to leave eight times. Leave the office. She would not leave the office. Now, who is he to you? Who is he to you? He's my brother. Okay, you need to take him away from me, okay? He's drunk too, before I have to put him in. I don't want to. I didn't want to put her in jail. But so take your brother, please leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey. She's gonna get. She's gonna catch a charge for if she breaks hey. anything. It is what it is. Yeah. See the way she's acting. That's a no go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not!
I'll give it to you when we get to jail. No, I really want it now. This isn't your world, dear. This isn't your world either. No. We all were brought up by the same f***ing God. Next time you'll listen when the you police tell you to do something. What? Told you to leave. Am I getting my mail? Told you to leave. Told you to leave. You didn't want to leave. my mail. You didn't want to leave. For right on time. For doing my due diligence. For purchasing my license on time. For purchasing my license plate on time. And I still get arrested. You want to be pissed? No, you... I, I would have left when the officer told no, me. No, left at one point with a bitch would have been Okay. That's fine. All I want is my right slipper back on my right foot. Because I have feet problems. I have general anxiety disorder. And if you guys don't want to pay to that, then that's going to be a real issue. The maximum I've done is like maybe I've done a car accident once or twice. But I've never, never done wrong to a person on this planet. Or ever wish wrong on someone. Yeah, I'm still over here aggressive. While people who have betrayed me, misfelled me, people who have stolen from me, and you guys don't do anything. I completely understand. Yeah, sure, I might be acting like a little menace. I may be a little frustrated, but can you understand me for two seconds of your human life? What do you mean with your daughter? I think my daughter would probably leave if the police no, asked her. No, no, I wouldn't. I think your daughter would be much smarter. I think your daughter uh, would never drink in her life. I think your daughter would never drink at the pool at her apartment. She pays $3,000 for it. It's not even about your daughter. That's what you don't understand. It's you, about being human. You, you brought it up. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm still riding. Is she still wiling out in there? Oh, yeah. You want me to follow you to jail? Yeah, if you want, you can. She is not happy. What's the name of this place? You got cars? 741 place. Yeah, let me grab a car from you. She is something else. Huh? Ooh. That's like. How many times did you ask her to leave? Several. How many times did I ask her to leave? At least eight. seven or eight? Eight. Holy cow. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Do you have any cars in the YouTube? I have my truck if you want to come get one. You're going to the Orange County Jail. I hope not. Huh? I said, I hope not. I'm sorry? I said, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I love that answer. Good morning. Good morning. Secure your weapons. Absolutely. As a result of Karen refusing to leave without her Amazon package, which probably hadn't even been delivered yet, she was charged with trespassing on property after warning. I have to go so bad. On the seat, in your back seat. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I'll get you through it. Gotta hold it. I can't. Our next event takes place in the great state of New Mexico where New Mexico State Police were called out about an intoxicated woman who was accused of leaving the scene of a crash. But the real drama takes place in the backseat of the squad car, where our real Karen has an epic showdown with her bladder. Let's see what happens. Where is it at? Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Do you have your ID? Can I see it? Where is it? 
Can you get it for me? Do you have your ID, ma'am? You don't have it? What's your name? What? I do want to know your name. We got called here to talk to you. Yeah. Camille? Can you spell that for me? C-A-M-I-L-O. They're leaving? I can leave. No, you're going to hang out right here, okay, till we figure out what's going on. C A M I L L A? Sure. Was that how you spell it or no? Yeah. Do you know your uh, social? Yeah. What is that? Why? What's yours? I'm not going to tell you my social. Why? I need to know yours because I need to identify you. Ready? This is too. Oh, that's not very nice. I know. I've been very nice to you, don't you think? Okay. I know, I know. Oh, that's cool. That like two strikes to my I'm sorry to like more double. Okay. Doing well yourself? No, no, you're gonna have to stay right here. How's it going? Let's go, man. I'm yourself. Everything all right over here? Yeah, everything's yeah. okay. Okay. You guys okay? Yeah. Cool. So, is it okay? With yeah, you're good to go. With the yeah. kids? Yeah, yeah, okay. you're good. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah, she won't give me here. She won't give me any identifiers. Hi, Camille. What's going on? Try to ask her for her name, social, nothing. Yeah. So, that, obviously, that's her car, obviously. She, she was kind of here at my car. Yes. Okay. So then, I can make contact with her. So then, I have a German Shepherd. Little dog there. She crashed over there. German okay. Shepherd. Another section. Okay. You, you see the damage of her car. So her seatbelt is loose. Mm -hmm. Let's it off. I can see the injury there. See the mark, heavily intoxicated. Um, no, as you can not see, that. Uh, three beers. Um, yeah. First was two, now two and a half. Um, I so bad. I'm leaving the right scene. Leaving the scene crash. She's heavily intoxicated. They cut her off. She was back and forth as far as they said she's going to drive from here and then not going to drive from here. Okay. Can I say that? Obviously, obviously, we have we have proof that she did drive. I have to. So, are we going to charge the scene and then 47? Yes, I was thinking about that. No. No. I have to keep. I have to keep. I'm sorry. Have a seat. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Have a seat. There is. Wait, 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 wait. Have a seat. Um. All right, keep going. Supposedly, supposedly, she called her friend from the to be here. No, she's not here. I have to pee so bad. Um, Do you know female urgency to go? Sorry. I gotta not, go. I gotta obviously go. Obviously, she didn't go to that point because based on the truth. That's all we have. Okay. So, is that what we're just leaving scene so in 47? Bad. Yeah. No. Super, super bad. Okay. I wouldn't do fields. No. So. And then, uh, reapplied and is it? Yeah, just reapplied. Okay. Go ahead and put your purse down. Okay. It's Camille, right? Yeah. All right, Camille. So look, this is what's going on right now, okay? Right, so you're being right, placed right. under arrest. Turn around. Hands behind your back, please. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Cool. Come on, come on. Thank you.
you have any jewelry or anything on? I understand. We'll get you a bathroom. Wait, 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 wait. Under oath. 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 All right, Camille, so you've been placed under arrest, one, for leaving the scene of an accident, number two, for driving while intoxicated, okay? No, I'm going to read a few things to you while... Under intoxicated. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you set in front of my vehicle. I'm going to read you a couple things, okay? Who's that? Right. David Bowie? Davis. No. All right. No. No. All right, Dennis Davis, we'll step over here in front of my unit real quick, please. Ms. Davis, please step with me, please. I have to pee. I understand. We'll get you a restroom. Come on. Okay. The uh, tow sheet's in my vehicle right. on the driver's side, Stop passenger this. side. Come on, Ms. Davis. Ms. Davis, come on. Right here, right in front of my car. Ms. Davis, come here. I'm going to read you a few things. Can you open your mouth for me? Ms. Davis, can you open your mouth for me, please? Can you open your mouth? All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. We can do this easy way or the hard way. Right now I'm being very, very patient with you. We don't need to do that, all right? Chill. Ms. Davis, have a seat. Chill. Relax. I'm telling you. You don't need to add here, stuff. You're going to start racking up more charges. We don't want that, okay? We want this to go as peaceful as possible. Okay? So, Camille, listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You are under arrest for driving while intoxicated. The New Mexico Applied I Consent Act driving. requires you to submit to a breath test driving. to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose yeah. to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional chemical test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privileges for one year. If you are convicted in court while drive, for driving under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Do you now agree to be tested? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Have you stepped to the back of my vehicle? Come on, step over here. Let's get to the stop. Do you have anything on your person I need to know about? Anything on like the rim of your pants here or anything? Have a seat. Have a seat. Come on. Ms. Davis, come on. Have a seat. There's no need to do this. Come on. There's absolutely no need to do this. You're adding on to your charges. Stop. Just have a seat. Come on. Have a seat. Watch your feet. I don't want to close the door on your feet. Come on. Come on, um, I don't want to close the door I on your foot. cannot. Miss Davis, come on. There we go. Thank you very Can much. Can I have my friend with me as no, a witness? Cannot. Why not? Because you're under arrest. That's why. All right. Thank you. Can I have my purse? I was there. Your purse will go with your friend. Can I roll up? Thank you, sir. For the PSA they're handling, uh, thank you guys. Have a good night. Just need some more location. Can you contact them and have the PSA give me a 21? There's blue paint transfer and the route was a blue car. I'm gonna piss myself. Yeah, 540 Go ahead. 540. I'll have the 41 10 15. 
you. you can go ahead and mark her 47. Deprivation period start 1831. Read the implied consent advisory card. She did refuse. You can go ahead and mark me route to the 81. I'll get you a restroom at our station, ma'am. Step forward. 1541. For the vehicle. Just sign it or not? Does she want her does she want her purse going with a friend or coming with us? Do you want your friend to have your purse? Yes. Okay. The lady right here in the white and black, correct? What's her name? I'm asking so we know who to give the purse to. Is that Marisa right there? Well, I have to pee. I will get you a bathroom. I'm asking if this is the person you want me to give your purse to. Do you want me to give this? To All right, ma'am. Are you going to have to ruin your pants here or anything? Have a seat. Have a seat. Come on. Just this. Come on. Have a seat. There's no need to do this. Come on. There's absolutely no need to do this. You're adding on to your charge. Stop. Have a seat. Come on. Have a seat. Watch your feet. I don't want to close the door on your feet. Come on. Come on. Um, I don't want to close the door I on your feet. I cannot. Miss Davis? Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. I have my friend with me. No, you do not. Why not? You're under arrest. That's why. Can I have my purse and all my, uh... When I rolled up, APD, when the PSA is ever handling, uh, I think it was a 44. Just keep the wrong location, just contact them and have the PSA give me a 21. There's blue paint transfer and they're out with a blue card. I'm gonna piss myself. I have to pee. I have to pee. Can I please use a restroom? Can I please use the bathroom? Can I please use the bathroom? I'll get your restroom at our station then. No. It's too far. It's too far. I have to go now. I have to go now. I heard three, two, one, go. Hurry up, then. Hurry up, then. Hurry up. You want your friend to have your purse? Oh, yes. Okay. The lady right here in the white and black, correct? What's her name? I'm asking so we know who to give the purse to. Marisa. Is that Marisa right there? Well, I have to be. I will get you a bathroom. I'm asking no. if this is the person you want me to give your purse to. Do you want me to give this to you? Alright, ma'am. I'm going to kiss myself. I'll get you a restroom as fast as I can. Right now, I'm going to kiss myself. I could too. I could too. Hurry up. I have to pee. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Oh my god. Go fast. Hurry up. Hurry up. There's a Subaru. Hurry up. Make sure you get the keys before you leave. I have to pee. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm peeing. I'm peeing. I'm. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You're peeing my unit. 
I'm done? Wait, yeah, wait. no, I'm done. I'm going. I have to go, girl. Thank you. Right I, I told them. I told them I have to go. I have to go in the bathroom. I my rights. Hurry up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. And the parking lot is very nice. Go, and a very, very nice paint. Absolutely. Are we taking me to Galena's? Really bad. What uh, Arby's? Oh I have to go so bad. I'm a in your back seat. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I'll get you through. Gotta hold it. I can't. All right. Cannot. 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 Sorry, broskies. I'm gonna pee my. Should I do the little road right there? I'll go right, right here. I step right in here. Have a seat for just a moment. Thanks. Have, Have a seat for just a moment. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thanks. Go ahead and take a seat. All right. Five four zero single. Good. Maybe you could just mark on the cab that the forty one did urinate inside of my vehicle. So I tried to explain it to you on scene. You have the option still to give a breath sample. Is your answer still no? Yes? Okay. So as soon as this thing times out, we'll go ahead and I'll see right. if I can find you a change of clothes. I know. So we'll go from there. And then what? Is this my photographer? Uh, I'm not your photographer. I don't have a lovely thing here. Vampo, really? the mic. There's no mic, ma'am.
just need to let the machine do what it's going to do, and then after that's done. I know you've already used the rest, and you want to try and use it again? Do you need to use it again? No? Okay. Well, once the machine goes off, I'll put you in there. You can hang out for a few minutes while I type everything up, and then I'll get you there. And I'll try and find you some pants. Do you know your friend's phone number? No. Not by heart? No. Is there anybody's phone number you do know by heart that can possibly bring you a change of clothes? No. Okay. Well, we'll try and see what we can do. I don't know if we have much here. I know. It's sad. I don't have change of clothes here. No, we don't really carry changes of clothes, ma'am. Are you feeling any pain in your chest? You have a pretty nasty mark right there across your chest where the seatbelt goes. So again, this is the opportunity. Do you want to blow in the machine? It's completely your opportunity. If you want to, you can still refuse. I don't like that so much. Okay. Well, I'll just take that as a refusal. We'll just hang here for a few okay. minutes. I'll take you for a, uh, a medical clearance, and when we get to the hospital, we'll see if they have maybe a pair of scrubs they can give you, you can put on as a pair of pants, okay? Hold on, hang tight. Just hang us, have a seat. We got a couple minutes here. I told you. Once that machine starts making its alarm sounds, we can I go have ahead. To go to this German Shepherd. Is it your job? Is that your dog? It could be. Unfortunately, it could be. have dinner soon, like an hour or less. We don't have dinner here, ma'am. I know. But, but when I take does. you to the, when I take you to PTC, we can let them know if you have or haven't eaten anything. I can let them know to get you a bag lunch. No, not me, but the German. I'm sure the dog will be okay. No. Okay. Have you step back in here for me? Okay. And I'll go ahead and take one of your cuffs off. But you can have a seat on any one of the chairs. It's going to be a, probably, about 20, yeah, probably about 20 minutes. Okay, thanks. After about 20 minutes, I'm going to take you to the doctor. As you just witnessed, Karen refused to provide a breath sample. Under the Implied Consent Act of New Mexico, drivers in the state implicitly agree to undergo a breath or blood test when requested. Therefore, Karen's failure to comply with the test will probably lead to a one-year revocation of her driver's license and the possibility of facing aggravated DWI charges. Pepper Pike police officers were called to the scene on September 17, 2023, after receiving a report of a driver hitting a curb and the car becoming inoperable. Sergeant Munn found the vehicle and its 23-year-old driver, the woman stated that she had contacted her parents and was waiting for them to arrive and assist her. However, Sergeant Munn suspected that the woman was under the influence and requested backup to help administer field sobriety tests. 
But what is really awkward is the fact that both of the 23-year-old's parents showed up in time to get front row seats to their daughter's field sobriety test. Portable report room with 2303738. So something's wrong with your tire? Yeah, like it's the left side. Like, see? Is this one right here? No. Okay. What happened? I don't know. And my, I just called my parents. My parents just come in. Okay. So Where are you trying to get to? I'm trying to get home. I live in Beachwood. I live um in Advantage, across from the mall. Okay. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from downtown. Okay. Do you know where you're at right now? They're like, I know I'm on like, I don't know. I'm on, I know on the Brinks. But I follow directions. I follow directions. Okay. So like, yeah. Fairmont Boulevard? Yeah, like up here. I went in with my parents. My parents want me away from them. Okay. I know that. Like, so, so I'm just, I am just want to wait so here. So it looks like you hit something. Do you know what you hit? No, that's the thing. Like, I was coming, I, I was coming up here. Yeah. I was coming from downtown. I was coming up here. I was going up, coming up, you know, going up for, um, going to Beachwood. Because okay. that's where I live. And I don't know what I hit, because see? Yeah. Like, it, it had to be pretty bad because, like, my tire never been like that. Like, never. Right. Like, never. So, like, I'm really, like, okay. I don't know. Is, is the car yours or is it yes. your parents? Yes. No, it's mine. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Because I'm going to have to do a report because it looks like you, you hit the curb back there. Yeah, I have my, um, I have my license. Can we go in this side so the cars don't hit us on this side? Yeah. Or we'll uh, go, uh, go to the, yeah, passenger side. Please. Josephine? Yeah. And Maple Heights is no longer the address, right? Yeah, how you know? Because <laughs> you just told me. Yeah. What's it's, the not, it's not long. That's my mom. So my dad, he lived, like, I usually lose to 2644 Western University Heights, okay. Ohio. That's where I got, grew up and went. Got so. this was, did something spill? This was like a little bit wet. Is there any drinks or anything in the car? No. I mean, like some water. Okay. Like some water bottles. Yeah, Did you have something to drink tonight when you were out? Um, yeah, I had one to dinner. Okay. I had one to brunch, and that's it. Brunch I or had, dinner? Well, I mean, it was the same. I mean, it what was time? like 11, okay. 12, 12 o'clock. o'clock. Yeah. What time is it right now? Without looking at your phone. I know it's like later, like 3, 4. 3 or 4? Well, no, it's like 5, 6 o'clock now. 5 or 6 o'clock I know it's 5, 6 o'clock now, for sure. I know what it's was, 5, 6 When was the last time you had a drink? It wasn't until earlier, this okay. morning. It and wasn't was until it? 11. Like mimosas with well, brunch? Or? Yeah, mimosas with brunch. Okay. Like, it wasn't that. And it right. wasn't, and it was only, it wasn't bottomless or nothing. It was only, it. like, one or two. Okay. Where's mom and dad coming from? From this address they're in Maple? Coming, no. Well. From University Heights. They live, it, that's the, they're close. God. So, that's they're really concerned. They're really, like, upset right now. Because I don't know, because I never, this never happened. Understood. And they, right. and my... Well, I got to take some pictures and stuff here. Okay. And, and that, if you just want to have a seat, I'll get you back in the... You want to okay. sit in the passenger side, actually, just so you're safe here. I don't have to worry about a car coming by on that side. Okay, yeah. Sound good? Yeah. And like I said, I'll take some pictures so we can document that damage, okay? Okay. Copy. I believe her parents just arrived on scene as well. Hello, your mom and dad? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I see she got a blowout. All right. Mom and Dad, can I talk it to you at the car real quick? Josephine, we'll be right back. What the? All right. So, I got a call here. Uh, Someone saw her hit the curb back there, coming around on Paramount. Oh, uh, God. She's clearly been drinking, and I needed to test her and see if, how that goes. So, that's where we're at right now. I can't do that without another officer who's in route right now, but I just, full disclosure, that's where we're at. Okay. You can stand by, you can watch, but that's that's what's going on. And okay. like I said, someone called and saw her hit the curb. 
Somebody called and said she saw her hit the curb. And then we're here. Right, here, right. Here. And then now we're, but, talk, we're talking. Uh, okay, and, right. So. All right. Like I said, you guys can stand by, hang out, or whatever. Nothing here is going to be a, a trick or anything like that. We're, and I'll ask her questions, and she can answer however she wants. But right. that's where we're at, okay? So I was explaining to your parents what's going to happen is we're waiting for another officer to arrive. And then based on someone called in that you hit the curb. Did you hear what I was saying over there? No. Okay. That you hit the curb. I have some concerns about your ability to drive. I think you've had too much to drink tonight. But I can give some tests to see how you perform when the other officer arrives. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. And then when, when that time comes, I'll ask you if you do or do not want to perform those tests. Okay. I mean, like, I'm fine now. Like, I can perform. Like, okay. I'm okay. But ba based on the totality of what's going on, that, that's what I, I've been trained to do and what I, I need to do. No, uh, it's okay. And your parents are going to stand by here, too. And like I said, they, they can be a witness and or offer advice, I guess, if you want to ask them advice. I usually don't have parents here, but they're here to help. Okay. Do you have any questions for me right now? You understand why I would? I'm kind of going the route I'm going right now. I mean, no, but I mean, okay. yeah, like, yeah, you got, yeah. you got to do. Okay. Um, you got, you got a spare? Yeah. Do you know if you have a spare tire? I don't know. I don't know. Here, I don't want you to walk in the traffic. Dad, can you pop the trunk for us and we'll check for a, a, spa a spare? I think it's already. It should be already. Josephine, can you stay so we're not walking in traffic? I don't want a car to come by and run run into us. Okay. Hey. They're checking for a spare, and then we're gonna talk to her. Okay. It's mom, mom and dad. Okay. Well, let's do this first. Okay. I can be looking for it. Yeah, you stand right there. Yeah. Just stand facing me with your hands at your side. All right. Are you wearing contacts? Yeah, I have contacts. Are they soft or hard contacts? I saw. I need them to see. Are they soft or hard? I guess so. I need them to see. Okay. I understand that. Okay. What we're going to do is when I move my finger, I didn't tell you this yet, I need you to follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only and not move your head. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when I move, it's just your eyeballs like this. Okay. okay. Can you do it with moving just your eyes and not like your head mm -hmm. or your chin? Okay, thank you. What I'm going to do is have you come walk down in front of my car, and we're going to face your car. So stand right where I'm at. Okay. Your your back facing my car, so your eyes are looking at your car. But we're going to need we're going to walk, so we're not playing room. Stop right there is good. One step forward, so you're not resting on my car. Very good. So I'm going to put you in what's known as the instructional phase. I would like you to stand with your right foot in front of your left foot, like me, touching heel to toe. Right, right. right foot in front of the left foot, yep. And then your feet touching heel to toe. See how my feet are touching? There's no gap in between them. Like this. Like this. Right? Can you make them touch? Like this. I want the front of your toe touching the back of your heel, please. Like this. Perfect, yes. Keep your hands at your side, like this. I'm going to stay in that position until I tell you to begin. Okay. All right. 
I'm not gonna now give you the instructions. You don't need to do it right now. When I tell you to begin, I need you to count out loud and take nine heel to toe steps like so. I'm gonna demonstrate. One, two, three, and so on and so forth until your ninth step. On your ninth step, I want you to turn like instructed here. Take a series of small steps, turn yourself around, and walk nine heel to toe steps back, counting out loud each step. So again, the key points are walk heel touching toe, nine steps down, turn like I showed you how to turn, and then walk nine heel to toe steps straight back down. I need it to be nine steps down, turn, like I showed you, I'm gonna demonstrate the turn again. On your ninth step, say this is number nine. Series of small steps, keeping that foot on the line, and then straight back down. One, two, three, and count up to nine. Like, do I count when I'm walking up? You count nine there, and then on the turn, you count nine back. Okay. In a straight line, keep your hands at your side, count out loud. Okay. Would you like me to repeat any of those instructions? I'm just walking ahead of myself, and I'll turn, and I'll Yes, Counting. so right. so it would be like this, one, two, three, but you need to count out loud and keep your hands at this, your side, turn around on your ninth step and do nine straight back. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Touch heel or so if you can. Okay. Do you remember how many steps I asked you to count when you were taking your steps? They say like 10. Or 11. Okay. Do you remember how many you did? Well, I did like 10, 11. Six. Okay. Do you have any injuries to your ankles, legs, or lower extremities I need to know about? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next test is we're going to stand over here like we were for the first one. And it's a balance test. You can do this either barefoot or in your shoes. You don't have any heels on, so you probably can do it in your shoes, but whatever your preference is. So stand with your feet together, your hands on your side like this. When I tell you to begin, I would like you to pick a foot of your choice and raise it six inches off the ground like so. Look at your toe, keep your hands at your side and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. So again, the keys are hands at your side, mm -hmm. either foot of your choice, mm -hmm. six inches off the ground. Hold that foot, look at it, and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, and keep That's counting like that until I will tell you to stop. Okay, there's a certain amount of time you have to do it for. Yeah, he said he has to, I have to stand until, like, he told me to stop. Mm -hmm. two, three. Right. Just foot out. One yeah. foot, up and out, and hands and at your foot. side. Whatever one you would prefer. I need to get a timer out, so do not start yet. Okay. You want to take a step off the curb, so that doesn't, like, trip you up. Okay, feet together, hands at your side. When you pick up your foot, I will start the timer and you count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, and keep going until I tell you to stop. Does that make sense? Yeah. Look at your foot and count out loud and I will start on your foot being raised. Okay, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 16, Okay, you can put it down. That was 30 seconds. Okay. So here's where we're at. Based on a caller calling in that you struck the curb behind them, you're admitting to drinking alcohol and your performance here on the test, I believe you are impaired. You should not be driving a vehicle. 
So I'll be placing you under arrest now for OVI, which is operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug, or a combination of both. Okay? So can you turn around and put your hands behind your back for me, please? Uh -huh. Would you like to take your watch or any jewelry off and I'll hand it to mom? Mom, you can come closer if you'd like to take the jewelry. She's going to hand it over a watch and her bracelets. What's next? So what you base the felon of the test on? Uh, there's just a series of, uh, this is all that's going to go to court, say you want to speak it, right? Um, basically, it's it, there's a balance being able to do multiple things at once. That's why you count out loud, stuff like that. So, for example, like, you can put, you should be able to put your foot out like that for the 10 seconds or whatever it is, without or 30 seconds, without falling and doing this. So that's why when you keep your hands at your side and you're counting out loud, it's causing your mind to both, A, focus on balance, Okay. And you know, counting out loud, right? so you shouldn't be able to. It's like operating a vehicle, right? Yeah. Which is way harder than that. So what yeah, you like what, like what? I don't have a felony now. Uh, no, it's a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor. Yeah, I'll explain all that here in a it's second. A misdemeanor, John. Basically, but, like, you don't have any. Bad, like, I don't want like no misdemeanor on Can you me. take these off and hand them to mom too? It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Like, it's not okay. okay. Can you like, put your hands behind your back? Thank you. Can you pull your hands off your body so I can put the cuffs on? Thank you very much. Can you rotate your wrist like this so they don't hurt as much? There, like that. I'm going slowly with you here so it doesn't pinch up on you. I am in Pepper Pipe. We're going to Beachwood. Can, can you stand here? I'm going to put two cuffs on her so she's more comfortable. Okay, yep. I got one on, so. Okay. You got, you got a second I'm going to grab him right okay, here. Okay, here, just use one. You want the same place? Yeah, yeah. I'll follow you over there. Thanks. And we just... Where city are you from? Beachwood. So oh. she's going to be going to Beachwood. Like this. Because I'm in Beachwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in Pepper Place. So I'm from Beachwood. We're on. On Beachwood. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay, we're gonna walk back here to my car. From there on, go through the radio. Females in custody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So these are your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford a to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand all those rights as I've read them to you? Yes. Okay. So what we do now is we go to Beachwood Jail. Mm -hmm. I have to read you a form that's required by the state, and then I will ask for you to give a breath test, and you can answer me at that time. Okay? So I am going to shut the door, and mom and dad will be will will know where you're going. Okay? Before I do that, though, I do need to put your seatbelt on. Okay. To do that, I have to reach in front of you. Okay. Can you just look towards the ceiling while I reach across? Yeah, that's right here. Tell my mom and dad will be coming. They, they should be coming right over after this. There you go. Hello, oh, through the radio. I'm out of the jail. Ending 108776. Repeating 108776.
Give me one second, I'll come around and let you out. What's the new procedure again? I can't uncover her until she's wanted down. Yep. That's it, once she's wanted, you're good to go. in front of you again, all right? Okay, if you want to come out feet first, you can lean on me for support so you don't hit your head or fall. Okay. I want to hand you off to this other officer while I grab paperwork to bring in. You got a phone? Yes. I, I wrote down the phone numbers. Yeah, they got it. Yes. Right, step right up to that line right there, okay? Right here by this black line, he's going to do this one and then we'll get those cuffs off you, okay? Do you have any other body piercings besides your nose? Um, no, sample this year. Okay. I don't know if she's going to give me one or not. Okay. Uh, so quick, if you can hang out. Cool. <laughs> a few quick questions, man. Are you currently experiencing any serious final thoughts? Are you good? Are you yeah. doing it? Okay. Are you for me serious? Are you serious medical or mental health issues? One of these years? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. This one right here. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. All right. You good? Yes. Thank you. Okay. we have to do is I have to read this form to you. Mm -hmm. This will be your copy and you can follow along with you me as I read out. it out loud. Okay. We're starting right here. Okay. You are now under the arrest for OVI, operating a vehicle under the influence of an alcohol, a drug, or a combination of them. I will check, but here we go to the bottom of the page now. Mm -hmm. you, you told me you've never been arrested mm -hmm. for anything before? No. Okay, so that means you haven't been arrested for drunk driving. That'd be no priors. Mm -hmm. I will be asking you to give a breath test. Okay. When that time comes, mm -hmm. your answer is yes or no. Okay. And if you know the answer, if it's yes, you get two, two breath samples. Mm -hmm. If it's no, refer to what I just read to you and what the consequences are. Mm -hmm. Again, no priors. You face up to a one-year suspension right. if you refuse. Well, why do you do this? Do it. I don't understand the question. 
Like when you just like do it. Do what? Like the breath test. When we do the breath test. When you guys like ask, like when you just do it. Yes. Okay. So I have to wait 20 minutes. I didn't, didn't see the gum. We just spit it out. I wrote down the time at 8 16 when we spit the gum out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. We'll wait 20 minutes mm -hmm. so there's nothing in your mouth or in, in your or system. And then at that time, we'll ask you yes or no, would you like to take a breath test? Okay. Right now, do you know if you would like to? Yeah. Yes, take it or. I mean, yeah, like, I just, yeah, I know, okay. like, yeah. It's and you just, can change your mind if you want to at that 20 minutes. I just wanted to know going forward because I mean, like, I'll run I the I think, like my, mo like, my mom and dad, like, I just want them to, like, I just know they will, like, you know, I just, I just never been through this before, so right. I don't know. So if you'd like, you can take this and kind of read it over and sit on that bench because we have to wait 20 minutes okay. and I have paperwork to start filling out. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take it because, I mean, if not, it's going to be, like, a consequence. I mean, I'd rather just take it, you know? I, I can't just... give legal advice. I mean, so I, mean gonna, I know. I I'm know. just going like, to shake my head. I know. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> okay. Did she have her driver's license? <laughs> Did you have it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to sit so, down. Yeah. I'd like to be the tester, so I can get my own breath tested. Okay, it. yeah, absolutely. Uh, after the 20 minutes, we'll have to finish the booking in process. And then if you if you don't have any priors, you uh, will get a personal bond. So, yeah, you'll be just released to your parents. Because they'll sign a waiver that they're going to watch you. Where the heck are mine? I think I have to do the whole thing. Okay, otherwise. are you going to do the whole thing? Okay. Because right. otherwise I don't get credit. Oh, okay. That works. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I was like trying to think of like, okay, how does this work? I used to do these all the time, and now it's like I don't have. I do know this. I got to turn off all this stuff. Yeah, so all that. Yeah. Hello. Hi. All right. So, what I need from you is. It's an adult release form, so anyone who we arrest, and we can't let them sit in jail for four hours at least, we have a responsible party sign a release form for them. Yeah. So, I already put her name, and then I need your name and your, your relationship, and then print and sign. So my name right here? Right here? Who used to custody of you? That's your name. I stopped over at the car again. I didn't know if you were still there. The tow truck's there, and oh, they're, they're about out of Oh, thank you. So. Good. Because yeah. we wait. We called Mooney's. Mm -hmm. Well, we called Progressa. Then they told they told us it'll be a delay. Then they called back and was like, "Oh, why don't you have the police call a tow truck for you?" And I was like, "But we're trying we're not, you. We're not trying not to charge you, right?" And um, then she was like, "Oh, okay. Well." Then she hung the phone up. I was like, listen, my husband was like, no, I'm going to give her a good cousin out tomorrow. So we we had to call somebody else to do it. And Mooney said they uh, didn't have a truck. Really? Yeah, for tonight. So if you would like to walk back down to your car, I will go in the Sally port. I believe she's done with the rest of the booking process, and I'll walk her right out. To okay. You. Uh, full, full disclosure, she did provide a breast sample. I'll write down with you. Okay. Um, the legal limit is 0.08, mm -hmm. oh, and you get two samples. And we do the lower of the two. First sample was 0.166. So what's, what's the legal limit? 0 0.08, so double, over double. And then her second sample was 0.169, so her alcohol in her system was going up, actually. So double the It's not what I know any parent wants to hear, but she didn't hurt anybody. Oh, I guess there's that. But this is is it a this is a misdemeanor? So yes, OVI is a misdemeanor of the first degree. And then I cited her for reasonable control for hitting the curb. Okay. That's a minor misdemeanor. Okay. And she's guilty of nothing. She'll have a court date Wednesday. Okay. And I'll explain this all again when we come out with all the paperwork. Just okay. so you know and she knows. Okay. But, so yeah, just want to sit in your car. I'll bring her back out the garage door once we finish doing the paperwork. Thanks. Shouldn't be too much longer. As you heard the officer tell Josephine's mom, her blood alcohol content was 0.166%, which is more than twice the legal limit. As a result, she was charged with operating a vehicle impaired first offense, 
and for failing to maintain reasonable control of her vehicle, which is ultimately why she was busted. Hello. Hi, Santa. Uh, yeah, you're being stopped for almost slamming into my partner's car. I'm so sorry. Any reason for doing so? Um, yeah, I was talking to her and then I saw that, so I slammed on the brakes. All right, I need your license, please. On March 28, 2023, Officers were issuing a citation to the car that they had pulled over when another driver came along and nearly rear-ended the squad car that was issuing the citation. As a result, the officer abandoned his traffic stop to investigate the careless driver. And this is what happened. Where are you coming from today? Oh, No, two Charlie Pies. You're not a so I'll give you a call in a second. This was supposed to if someone else can come here so we can keep on both vehicles. Tempo. Uh, so, Miss, Miss Camellia? Yes, sir. Okay. And where do you live right now? Um, I've been uh, staying with my mom in Wellington for the past couple months. Okay. So, what, what was this place you were coming from called? The Colony. What exactly is that? A restaurant? Uh, yeah, it's a hotel. And they have a restaurant in Palm Beach. Okay. Um, we were just going to dinner. It's the last night here. What car was stopped in the middle of the street? You mean the marked police vehicle with emergency lights activated? So it's not stopped, it's properly on the side of the road, signaling that it's there, and you almost ran into it. So any legitimate reason for that? have to step in. She was telling me that, I mean, this is really Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to step in. Uh, turn the car off. Yes, sir. Okay. Where are you headed? We are heading to uh, to her work's house. Okay, how old are you? I'm 25. Okay. Turn off your lights. So you said you were Yes, ma'am. What is that? Do you have your car key? My car key? I'm going to turn it's off the, the flashers. Okay. And that's it? You were with your friend the whole time? Yes, ma'am. You said you were coming from the calling. Is that where you had the drinks? Yes, ma'am. Down here for like spring break or something? Um, 
for the equestrian season in Wellington. Uh, okay, so you don't live here, you're just here visiting. My mom lives here, um, and so I've been here now for about a year, but that's my legal address. Where does your mom live? In Wellington. May I check my phone, ma'am? No. Yeah, we can get to the doctor. <laughs> You had two cocktails and a glass of wine. Yes, ma'am. And you were coming from the college. Yes, ma'am. All right, Camelia. Um, what, what's going to happen next is um, we're going to do a field sobriety test to see if you're well enough to get back behind the wheel. Oh, well, he asked drive. that my friend come pick me up, so I have a friend on the way, actually. Yeah, but we're, we're past that now. Yeah. We're past that. So, what do you mean we're past that? So, like my partner stated, she's conducting an investigation of driving under the influence. When I walked, you almost slammed into her car that was in the middle of the street with her emergency lights activated. Uh, you almost crashed into it. When I get you out of the car, you have a strong... Overwhelming odor of an unknown alcoholic beverage. You have slurred speech. You are having difficulty telling where you're going. You're swaying while you're standing up. So this is why she's asking you about the DUI investigation. With that in mind, are you willing to participate in standardized field sobriety tests? You're good right there, man. Over here. No, no, he's. Hi. So right now we're doing a criminal investigation. If you do interfere with our investigation, you can be under arrest for sure. obstruction. So okay. it's not worth it. So we're doing with our thing. If, is that your car over there? No, I'm parked right around the corner. Okay, you can wait in your car or you can wait over there. I don't care. Okay. You're, if you really want to watch, that's interesting. And then uh, we'll go from there, okay? Okay, got it. Any questions? Nope. I just ask that you don't step in. All right, it's not sure. worth it, bro. Okay. Yes, okay. I understand you. Okay. Because I can smell the alcohol coming from your, from your breath. As you're speaking to me, I can smell it. And you told me you had two cocktails. Yeah. So now I just want to make sure that you are well enough to get behind the wheel. I don't know that I'm. If my friend's here that can pick me up, so I don't have to drive. Okay, but like we said, he's here to pick her up. You were behind no, that. No, he's here to pick me up. You, you were behind that wheel. I can smell alcohol coming from you. Okay. I want to conduct this so that. It okay, tells me you're, that you're asking okay. me permission to do the test. No, she's asking if you're willing to participate. Yeah, you're asking me if I'm willing to participate. So explain to me my rights. In okay, this so situation. first of all, it's either a yes or no. No, if you are. Obligated to ask me okay. if so I'm willing are you saying to no? participate. No, that's not what I'm okay. saying. I'm asking so you, you to let explain me explain to me. You want to let me finish? Please. Okay. Yes. So Sorry. while participation is voluntary, refusal to participate can be used against you in court. Thank you. For as evidence, this. and I have to base our arrest decision off of our sight, our smell, our sound, and talking with you. So with that in mind, do you understand? Yes. Okay. And thank you for fully explaining that. So, with to that me. in mind, are you willing to participate in standardized field sobriety tests or not? Can you repeat it, please? Repeat what? We're not going to keep our eyes back. You said you understood you, the first time. So, do you, you want to participate? Yes or no? Okay, I'll participate. Okay, okay thank you. Um, the friends with him? <laughs> yeah. We can do it. We can do it at the end of the line. Okay, uh, Camelia, right? Yes. All right, Camelia, I'm going to explain some instructions, okay? Uh, these exercises that you're going to do um, have instructions for you. Um, right now, I just need you to Let lean against this reverse. car for me real quick. Is she comfortable walking in those shoes? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the eye. Still ask just because it's heels and all that. Are you okay to walk in those shoes or do you want to take them off? while we do the exercises. I have flats in the car. Should I throw them in the car? Where are they in the car? And I'll grab them for you. In the 
vaccine. Vaccine? Okay. In the trunk? Like in the trunk? Yes, sir. Where are they back here, dear? Miss Chameleon? Uh, on that side, behind the red bag, probably. And these are flats. Oh, that's perfect. So you're comfortable walking in these? Yes. Okay. Is it right if I put those back in the trunk? Um, yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Watch yourself, man. People are still flying by. So, when I, when I tell you, I just want to follow. Can you hold this one? I'm going to follow my finger, okay? With your eyes only. Without moving your head. Okay. I'll just put my car around. That's like too far out of my no, view. <laughs> if I'm not allowed to move my head. Alright, Camelia. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna go over here, okay? Can I put this down right here? Yeah. I'll put it on the hood for you. Okay. Or do you want to? I'll just put it in the car. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. Green line right here. Which foot she's gonna place? Huh? You're gonna you're gonna place your left foot, okay, on the line. Place your left foot on line four. 
So yeah, go ahead and do that. Are you showing me first? Should I do it there first? So I'm gonna read it and then whichever way you want. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to take your shoes out, that's fine. Okay. Right, so go ahead and place your left foot on the line. Good. And your right. Your right. So your right heel against the toe of your left foot. I feel a bit nervous like ballet class. Place your arms down at your sides. Like this, dear. Okay. There you go. Okay. Maintain this position until I have completed the instructions. Do not start to walk until told to do so, okay? When I tell you to start, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps on the line, turn, and take nine heel-to-toe steps down the line. And it'll look like this. All right, Camille, you're watching? So you look at the officer. One, two, three, all the way till nine. You understand? On a nine set, leave the front foot on the line. Take a series of small turns to turn around. And take nine more heel to toe steps down the line. Yes, One, sir. two, three, all the way to nine. Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay, she has a few more things for you. When you turn, keep the front lead foot on the line. And turn by taking a series of small steps with the other foot, just like how he explained. While you are walking, keep your arms at your side Watch your feet at all times and count your steps out loud. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once you start walking, do not stop until you have completed the test. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, ma'am. Nine steps forward, turn around, nine steps back. Yes. But the turnaround needs to be quite contained. Okay. Okay? Do you understand? You need to count out loud, you need to look at your foot. Yes, ma'am. Put your foot down. Try not to. 
Just pick it back up and continue counting from where you left off. Don't start over at counting, okay? Yes, sir. Go ahead and start. Counting. Okay. Counting. One, two, three, Eleven, one thousand, twelve, one thousand, thirteen, one thousand, fourteen, one thousand, fifteen, one thousand, sixteen, one thousand, seventeen, one thousand, eighteen, one thousand, nineteen, one thousand, twenty, one thousand. Finger the nose and still the Romberg. Oh, right. It might be on the back. Alright, so, so what, what you're gonna do now is with with uh you're gonna have you're gonna stand in that same position onto your side, you're gonna have both your fingers oh your index finger out, so it's gonna be like that. Mm -hmm. With the tip of your finger, so that it not, let me show you, not this here, this is not the tip. The tip is the very top, okay? With the tip of your finger, when I tell you, and you know you be, the difference between your left and your right, correct? Okay, which one's your yes, right hand? Which one's your right hand? Right. Okay, and which one's your left hand? This is oh, my okay. left hand. Okay. So when I tell you your left hand or right hand, whichever one, you're gonna take that that arm with the pointed finger and with the tip, you're gonna touch the very tip of your nose, okay? Yes, ma'am. You're gonna have your eyes closed. Yes, ma'am. While doing this, okay? So your eyes closed, your head tilted back. And when I say right, you're gonna point right at the tip of your nose, okay, with the very tip of your finger. Yes, ma'am. Am I missing anything? No. Right. Just yeah, went over that you'll tilt your head back, close your eyes? Yeah, so remember, tilt your head back, close your eyes, um, your hands to your side, feet together. Oh, right. Uh, okay, with your fingers to your side. Yes, yes. So you're gonna same thing, feet together, hands to your side. Um, you're gonna close your eyes, and you're gonna in your head you're gonna estimate um, 30 seconds. Okay. When you think the 30 seconds are over, you're gonna open your eyes and say stop. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yes, ma'am. It, it, it's pretty simple. I'm just so. gonna count. Yes. Okay. So. Whenever you think um, 30 seconds is over in your head, just open your eyes and say stop, okay? Okay. 
So same thing, hands mm-hmm. to your side. Tell me when together. to start. Yeah, I'll tell you when to start. Okay. Okay. okay, my eyes are closed now. Tell me when to start. All right. What number did you come to? Um, 30 Mississippis. <laughs> but you never really know because the Mississippis could be longer than the real second. That's true. Can I listen to anything else? Sort of seventy four location. You want to put your shoes on? Yes, ma'am. It'll be a Ford Bronco, twenty two foot attack. Good. Alright, watch your stuff, Miss Camille. Officer, you're officer is going to search you before you go in the car, okay? So I won't be touching you at all, all right? Yes, ma'am. Right. I'm just Sorry. saying our camera is wrong, so we're not here to feel you up or get professional and treat you like a human, all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. just want to make sure that um, everything is safe before you get in my car, okay? So I have to do a search on you, all right? Sure. Okay. Are you wearing a bra? No. Bring your phone, alright? Is there anything else you want me to get out of your car? Um, I guess. I mean, you have my ID, so. Yeah, yeah, she'll keep that. Okay, I'll tell you where it's going. The woman was ultimately arrested for DUI, reckless driving, and failure to yield to an emergency vehicle. On September 15, 2023, she pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of reckless driving which resulted in the dismissal of the DUI and failure to yield charges. Ultimately, she was sentenced to 75 hours of community service, $900 in fines, and 12 months of probation.